Hi, it's Sue. Hey, would you like to make something that looks like this? Or how about something that looks like this? Or like this? Or like this? Or like this? You're in the right spot. Let's work together and you can learn to sew. Okay, so let's start out just talking in general about sewing supplies because there are certain kinds of things that you're going to need in order to, to do the sewing. So for lingerie, if you want to make something that looks like this, you need a sewing machine. There's a lot of forces that are working on the seams in a bra and so you really need to get a sewing machine in order to do that. But the good news is you don't need anything fancy. Just a plain sewing machine will be fine. You don't need a serger, you don't need a cover stitch machine, you don't need any of those kinds of things. You just need a sewing machine. And I'll tell you in just a few minutes what you would like to look for in that sewing machine. Some other things that you would need. Uh, scissors, you need scissors. I'm gonna show you a few pair here. These are just like kitchen scissors right here. And they are just utility scissors. These will work fine especially as you're starting out for this class. Nothing really fancy here. Then I've got a couple of other kinds of scissors. These are more sewing scissors. They are honestly so much easier to work with than your kitchen shears. This is um, a beautiful pair from Clover called Bordeaux. And then I also have and like this pair of scissors from Kai Scissors. And these have this little micro serration on them so that when you have slippery fabrics, and some of your lingerie fabrics can be a little bit slippery, um, then your fabric doesn't walk on you. So this is a nice kind of scissor to have too. Not necessary for the beginning. You can just get by with whatever you have. Something else that you're going to want to use are pins at, or clips. And so let's talk about these. Lingerie fabrics tend to be very densely knitted or woven. So you want a very sharp pin. These are silk pins and they have a glass head. You want the glass head on it because that way when you're ironing, and ironing super important in sewing, then you won't melt the head of your, your pins. Um, or you can use clips. And I'm gonna show you a couple different kinds of clips. Uh, these are called wonder clips and they work a little bit like a clothesline clip, but they're very strong. And so there's a regular wonder clip. And then for lingerie, because they tend, the pieces tend to be very small, I like these little mini wonder clips. And those can work in the place of pins. Another thing that you want to have is thread. And your thread, in general, should match the color of your fabric. You'll notice this is the fabric I'm going to use. Um, my thread doesn't match the fabric at all. And the reason I'm doing that is so that you can see when I am sewing. You also want a, a measuring tape. So this is a good measuring tape. It, this one's got both centimeters and inches on it. A lot of lingerie patterns are set up so that you can measure either way. So these are just kind of good to have supplies as you go forward. Something else that I like to use is a rotary cutter and a rotary ruler, rotary color ruler. This is the mat, so we're doing everything on this kind of green mat, which is gridded. And when you use a rotary cutter, there's almost always some sort of a safety thing uh, baked into it. This is a very sharp blade, and you can just go like this and cut. Uh, you can also cut freehand around curves. What it does when you're using a rotary cutter versus scissors is that it keeps your fabric nice and flat and that'll keep your pattern pieces from shifting around. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. So this is a nice thing to have longer term, not necessarily needed um, in the short term. Now to complete this little course that we're going to do, this how to sew course, um, you do need that sewing machine. There is something inside the sewing machine called a bobbin, and you're going to need that. We'll talk about that when we get to the sewing machine, which will be in our next class. Um, as I said before, you want some thread. 
usually it's matching. For this course, you want a little bit of fabric. I'd say a fat quarter to a half of a yard of quilting cotton. Now the reason I'm choosing quilting cotton, in general, you're not gonna make your bra out of quilting cotton, but it's super available everywhere and it is very, very easy to sew. Um, when you're starting something new, it's kind of nice to not have to conquer many, many challenges at once. So we're gonna use a nice, easy fabric to sew on and uh, learn just the basics of our sewing. So that's why quilting cotton. Another thing that you want is a package of bias tape. And this is the bias tape. It's just a single fold bias tape. It's, this one is, happens to be a half of an inch wide. Now, why do we want bias tape? Well, if you look inside of a bra, what you'll notice, this is elastic along here. This is channeling along here. And so you'll see you've got all sorts of little narrow things you're going to be sewing on and you're going to be sewing. So, so for this reason, we're going to do some practice with something very much like this, but something that's super easy and available and not expensive. And so that's why we're using the bias tape. My bias tape is not matching my fabric at all. And that is so that you can see it well. Um, your sewing machine will need needles. And here's just a set of universal needles. This is great. This is a great needle to use on quilting cotton. It's a universal 7511. The number here tells you about the size. Universal, which is its name, tells you about kind of the, the job that that needle is best at. And so a universal needle works for a whole lot of things. And so this will be a fine needle to get started with. And then if you go out to brabuilders.com, you will be able to download these pattern pieces. And um, we'll get to this after a few lessons. Um, and what these are, are this is the way that you create the shape in a bra. So we'll be using these as pattern pieces to learn how to put together two different curves that are not the same. So these are all taken right off of actual bra pattern pieces. And um, then some of it, of course, it's not the entire pattern piece. It, we're just learning to work with this one edge. So the edge with the star is the edge that we're going to be working with. And we're gonna put these two pattern pieces together, these two together, those two together, those two together, and those two together. That should all work out so that you will get some good practice in working with those curved seams. Now your, your sewing machine doesn't need to be fancy, as I said before. The, you want a straight stitch, and every sewing machine you will find has got a straight stitch. You want a zigzag stitch. The zigzag stitch is the one that just kind of bops back and forth in a zigzag like that. Can you see that right there? If we look on this side, both sides of this elastic are done just with a plain zigzag stitch. So you can see there's a zigzag stitch here. This is a straight stitch here, straight stitch here, zigzag, zigzag, straight stitch, zigzag stitch. So, and this is just a straight stitch back and forth and back and forth. So very simple stitching. So it can be a pretty simple sewing machine. It does not need to be a computer sewing machine. A three-step zigzag, and I don't have an example of that on this garment, but I would on other garments. It's common that you would use also a three-step zigzag, and that is um, a nice stitch to have for lingerie sewing. You want your sewing machine to be reliable, so um, getting your grandma's sewing machine that nobody can quite make work out unless you hold your mouth just right and are very delicate with it, that might not be the one that you want because then you're going to be fighting two things at once, learning how to sew and trying to make that machine work. So just getting a nice, basic, reliable machine or borrowing a nice, basic, reliable machine is a good idea. And then you'll want the literature for your machine so that you can see exactly how to thread it and that. We're gonna talk about general threading information as we go on. You don't really need a computer control. You don't need a lot of fancy stitches. It is nice to have some for other garment sewing. So if you really get into garment sewing, 
which by the way, I recommend, I think it's super fun. Um, you might want a, a sewing machine that will also do something like a buttonhole, there's not a lot of buttons on a bra, or a blind hem, which is great for garment sewing. But again, most garment sewing is just gonna be a straight stitch, occasionally a zigzag. Um, and so you don't need anything fancy for most of your sewing. So that's everything we have for you here today on this first lesson. What you need for the class, what you need in general for sewing supplies. In our next class, we're gonna talk about the machine. I'll see you there.